Welcome back to more Dark Star. Check out this grand piano. Shit's looking pimplicious. Let's jam a tune. Some heart and soul, baby. Oh. Page's melody. Do 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 Fucking Beethoven. So that go again. Can't remember. Power, I'm calling out. Please tell me what to do. A bitch in the tower. Come on, man. King's Quest. King's Quest Five. The guy doesn't look too good. Look, he's finger painting on the walls again. Mm. Both he's got gingivitis. Simon, what the hell is this? Don't look at me, I didn't do it. These guys have been dead for 300 years or so, right after you went under. Well, who is this guy? I mean, what do you know about him? I want some answers. They stunk really bad for a while, but after a bit it wasn't so bad really, and at least they were someone I could play with and talk to, and uh, am I grossing you out? You have no idea. Kramen killed them when they tried to board and take over the ship. Now that I think about it, how do you pull that off? Oh, Simon, that's a pretty good question, I should be wondering that myself. I mean, one unarmed guy against a landing party of trained mercenaries? One of those things that makes you say, hmm. Yeah, right. Just stay out of my way, will you? Okay, fine. Let's do lunch later. Jerk. Sure. Uh, sort of freak. We don't want the uh, red flashing gun. See? You gotta be careful with that. They're trying to get you to give up the... the good gun. You want the one with the green light. Green light. 7-Eleven. You stop in. With the pack of cigarettes. You don't smoke. All right, let's see. God damn it. I might I wanted to check out the gallery over here. It's got pictures and shit. I don't want to look at dead damn Dick over here and his fucked up face. I've seen cuter. I'm talking about black hole sun won't you come
That's Dark Star, right? Oh shit, no, that's Dark Star. That's the black hole. Oh. Secret roomy boomy. Six months. need for military defense for the better part of a century, Earth has found itself massively outgunned by the off-world armada. Time has become as much an enemy as the marauding invaders as panic grips the United Nations of the Earth. With only six months until zero hour, antique fighter ships are reinstated to active duty, recruited from air museums and private collections to hastily assemble a fleet of our outdated starfighters. Earth's sole defensive line from certain violations.
cake. The Kilrathi ripoff. Morale is high. But no one has illusions of victory. Fully aware of the brutal fury that is about to be unleashed upon us all. As they rehearse the inevitable, all eyes scan the night sky, waiting. And just askew from the Little Dipper, the mysterious Dark Star beckons, and a daring plan is conceived. It's fucking groovy. But I gotta reload. We got some other shit to do back in the cabin. I got a little bit ahead of myself. Guy's got chicklets. Dear God, make me a bird so I can fly, fly far away. Dear God, make me a bird so I can fly, fly far away. Gotta save my game, motherfucker. Self destruct, that looks groovy. of an insignificant button aboard a lost starship. Pre-staging sequence activated. Infinity is the wall just beyond your reach. Ion chamber quarantine. Temperature and radiation inside exceeding safe levels. Warning. Coolant levels are not sufficient to safely power up ion distribution system. When there's no one left to ask what time it is, does it even exist? You have 10 seconds to abort pre-staging sequence. Nine. Eight, seven, 
Pre-staging sequence has been aborted. Please wait while radiation is neutralized within the ion chamber. Oh, that was close. I was about to kill myself. Whoops. Let's push of an insignificant button aboard a lost starship. Pre-staging sequence activated. Infinity is the wall just beyond your reach. Ion chamber quarantined, temperature and radiation inside exceeding safe levels. Warning, coolant levels are not sufficient to safely power up ion distribution system. When there's no one left to ask what time it is, does it even exist? You have 10 seconds to abort pre-staging sequence. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Boom shakalaka. The brilliant pinpoint of light illuminates the black velvet backdrop to the stars for a mere instant. A metamorphosis of sorts, a new step in the evolution of the species, a fork in the road that leads to a dead end and a journey that has no end. Reload. It gives us the bio lock we actually already saw. Six months. Okay, anyways. Someone's placed a motherfucking bomb here. Self-destruct, that sounds fun. The wall just beyond your reach. When there's no one left to ask what time it is, does it even exist? Since there is indeed no one to hear that tree fall in the forest, it falls silently. As you realize that somewhere along the way, you missed a road sign or two. I am killing the shit out of myself.
Oh, and this purple cord from the self-destruct bomb. Going beneath the computers. Holy shit, all right. One, three, one, one. One, three, one. It was good to me. One, three, one, one. Airlock doors opening. Rotating shuttle one hundred eighty degrees. Shuttle doors open. Another bio lock. Chapter 8 Siege. Four of our fastest starships have been specially fitted and staffed for one final mission to reach Dark Star, to travel through history, and to persuade you, our ancestors, to help create a new, alternate future for mankind. The crews of the North Star, Eastmoor, Southwind, and Westwick all carry this urgent message across space and time to you.
and before a single one can be launched. The attack has come earlier than expected. Earth Base Alpha, this is Eight Eight Five Squadron on maneuvers performing fly over your station. Eight Five, we see you and acknowledge. Sure, hit. Are you with me? Roger that. I'm just coming up on your right wing. Hicks, get this on, will ya? I've got my hands full here. Whose bright idea was it to send us flying solo in two-man F-88s anyway? Well, for Hicks, you know we're short pilots who can fly these antiques. Well, these things have two seats for a reason. My butt didn't fill both of them. Hey, hey, Hicks! It's too much for you to say so. I've got an eight-year-old nephew that can't even touch the pedals, and he can keep one of these up in the air. Oh, yeah, right. Sitting in your lap. You want to sit in my lap? Stuart, you know what? Just shut up. I don't need your crap right now. Guys, cut the chatter. Sorry, sir, but adolescent flyboy here barely kept up with me during training. And need I remind you that I was personally trained by Zoe and Paige Palmer, pilots for the Dark Star Mission. You might have heard of it. Yeah, I've heard of it. And our mission is to buy them some time so they can get the heck out of Dodge with die horrible flaming suicide deaths. Hey, that's enough of that. Commander, nothing on tactical, but I thought I saw... Wake up, guys. Incoming bogeys. Damn! Where'd they come from? Those scorpions are fast. They don't show up on tactical. <laughs> Thank you, sir. No chance. Flaming suicide death. I know it. That's enough, Stuart. Get it together. Showtime. I have your weapons Twins. Our secret and our only new weapon built specifically to engage the Scorpion fighters. Only 18 can be produced in the six months we have before the attack. North to here. Harris, Eagleburger, you're with me. We're assigned to assist Zeta A5 Squadron. Fire up your engines on my mark. Okay, hit it! Okay, guys, concentrate on the Scorpions. Cover the F-88 while they take out the tankers and the destroyers. Roger that. As Custer said, don't fire until you see the whites of their eyes, boys. That was Washington, sir. And tell it to the Mexicans. Yeah, uh, British, sir. Shut up and fire, Frank. Yes, sir. Fire right in the middle of them. They're so thick, I don't have to aim. Disabled fighters. Wait! Pull up! Pull up! They outnumber us 10 to 1. Well, bowling pins have the same odds against the ball, so quit your whining and go for that spare. Yeah? 
But who says we're the ball? Energy dampening bolts are working. Saps their power and dares the door now. And we can hit more than one with a single shot. Even the odds a bit, don't it? <laughs> There's nothing even about these odds. Let's bring them around for another run. This will give them a taste of their own medicine. Captain Nordstrom, I've got a proximity alert. Something's ahead. What is it, Frank? I don't know. Hey, what, what is that? Whoa! Frank, you okay, buddy? Frank! Frank! Oh, man, Frank's gone. I could use a little help here. Hello? Hello? A kingdom for a deck of cards. Wake up, bitch. You got two on your tail. I've got a lock on her. I don't need backup, guys. I can handle it. Get out of there, Nick. I'm coming. I'm, I'm moving in to engage. Back off, Stuart. I'm on it. Rotating turret. Fire at. They low in her afterburners. Listen to Stuart, please. They've got a bead on you. Roll and evade. Almost in my sights. This is not an offensive situation. Evade your pursuers now. going to happen to all of us sooner or later, isn't it? Well, we all knew this was a one-way ticket. If I change history, will I remember any of this? Just in case, let's make this a night we'll all remember it. Take as many of these jerks with us as we can. Yes, sir. And so the outnumbered fleet fought valiantly for days, winning small victories here and there, slowing the invasion and distracting the armada from the secret base where the Dark Star mission was frantically being launched. And also buying time for me to escape from Earth to this space station and deliver this message to you. But the tankers did indeed make it through the flimsy veil that was our final defensive wall and began gorging themselves on Earth's oceans like intergalactic vampires. Millions of gallons at a time were patiently siphoned into the smaller tankers, then transported into space to be dumped, one load at a time, into the massive super tanker mothership. By now, our surviving fighter ships were fueled, and the seemingly endless supply of scorpion fighters kept them at bay, while the rest of us watched helplessly as the armada took what they came for. Meanwhile, destroyers take to the cities their vicious destruction of our world, a merciless onslaught of epic proportions. Intelligence has discovered the Armada is in possession of a doomsday gunship, an unmanned robotic annihilator that can split the earth in two with a single shot. Why then this slow, tortuous ravaging of the cities and the people of the earth? A loathing for what they have been deprived, a despised, twisted hate 
For those who exile him to a dead, red planet to die, life sentences, zero tolerance has come home to us now. Our distaste for dealing one-on-one -on -one with those whom we consider below us has now resulted in a bloody homecoming. Those not killed in the initial attack escape in overpopulated space arcs, lifeboats to a dying planet. They crawl from the falling skies into the vacuum of space, only to be swarmed by relentless squadrons of scorpions that viciously strike without warning and effortlessly decimate what is left of humanity aboard these titanium hulk galleons. Ships with no possible home port. Holy shit! I'll see you next fucking video!